Okay, I wanted to do one more uh, demo video for the new head tracking headset setup I've got here. Uh, this is the new setup. Uh, you can see I mounted it on a normal gaming headset. Uh, I now am using these high powered infrared LEDs that are a lot brighter and a lot more consistent and have a wider viewing angle. They're powered by this constant current driver. Um, and what these are are connected to this up here. You can see that when they get in front of the camera that's mounted on top of the TV, that blue infrared LED light or that blue LED light lights up. And what that's basically saying is it sees three infrared LEDs here. And what it can do is it can triangulate the angle that your head is pointed based upon where those infrared LEDs are. Um, so I have a program that's running on this that helps visualize what that data looks like. Um, and if you'll see here, right now it doesn't see anything, but when I put the headset in front of it, it <coughs> makes a uh, calculation to determine the orientation of the head based upon the three LEDs it says it sees. So when I look up to the left, you'll notice that it points up to the left. When I look down to the right, it goes down to the right. So basically, when I have the headset on, and I look at the TV, uh, if I'm looking directly at the TV, the dot is close to the center. If I look to the left side of the TV, the dot is over to the left. If I look to the right side of the TV, the dot is over to the right. And that data is piped because it's listening over XB in the same way this visualizer is, it's taking that data from the camera and piping it into the Xbox controller. So that when I'm looking right, it tells the Xbox controller to look right. Um, so we'll go right into the game so that you can see what it looks like in the game. Okay. Pick a game real quick. Uh, game's got to load up. Alright, so here we are going into a game. Hopefully we have at least a couple of minutes left in this game so that we can play. Looks like we do. Um, you'll notice that anywhere that I look, the, uh, the character looks a little bit off here. There we go. Um, so when I want to look left, I just look at the left side of the TV and I start spinning left. When I want to look right, I look at the right side of the TV and I spin right. If I want to look just a little bit to the left or slower, I look just a little bit. It's very, very sensitive, so it can tell how fast I want to go based upon how fast that I turn my head. And that gives me the ability to run around as much as I want just basically leading my character by the nose. I can look down, I can look up, you know, see what's around, anywhere I want to go. And we'll see if we can get on one of these bikes. So we can at least spin around a little bit. Let's just leave some landmines for some fun here. Go over and get on this bike. The bikes are super cool because um, they're kind of a little bit more self-centering because you can only go, oh shoot, there's a bad guy, you can only go so far, is he on the bike? I might have to jump off here in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to stay on the bike just so I can play around a little bit here. Uh, that was a bad move. Alright, so here we go. I'm just going to drive on to their base just so I can get in some action over here. And let's see if we can grab their flag. Oh, and I can't. That was a little bit too ballsy, I think. Alright, so that's how head tracking works. It actually works really good when you're playing. It takes, uh, you know, about a day or two before you're used to this kind of controlling um, 
because you know you're used to using a normal controller and uh, you know it's a little bit foreign to to try to control the guy this way um, but you can see that you know after a little bit of practice that it's pretty easy to pick up um, it's pretty intuitive so it's not like you're doing something that doesn't make sense um, but it's easy to play like this uh, wish I had time to get some kills but I don't. So this is the uh, controller. It's completely wireless. I can plug the headset into it so that I can talk. Um, this is the headset, which just has three high-powered infrared LEDs. Right now, I have the power going over the attachment cable just because it's a little bit simpler than running a battery to it. Um, and that's the complete hardware, aside from this piece right here, which is the... Uh, the infrared camera which feeds the data to the controller and just sits on top of your TV and just plugs in for power. Thanks for watching.